I'm Michael Smith of MedPage Today. I'm here at the Society of Interventional Radiology meeting with George Edmondson of St. Paul, Minnesota. Dr. Edmondson with colleagues is reporting on a new method of treating an old condition, frostbite, very common in the frozen Northwest. Dr. Edmondson, what are you reporting here? Well, we are looking at severe frostbite, the, the degree of which you actually start to lose fingers, hands, toes, not just your uh, blanching where you feel cold and get a little sting. Uh, what we've determined is that the limb loss is due to blocked arteries in the hands and feet. And uh, if we give blood clot dissolving medications directly into the arteries leading to these uh, hands and feet, along with some uh, vasodilators to open up the, uh, spas the artery spasm, we can get them reperfused and actually save limbs that might otherwise be lost. This is, um, you've been doing this actually for several years. We have. We have been experimenting with a variety of different uh, blood clot dissolving agents, urokinase, TPA, retoplase, and now we're trying to connect the place, or TNK, uh, in an effort to find the best drug. We haven't reported this previously. We've been doing it as a local phenomenon at our burn unit for about 15 years. Uh, and uh, it seemed time to do a prospective FDA trial in order to demonstrate to ourselves and others that the treatment is effective, it's safe, and that we have the right dose and drugs. Do you, uh, have you seen differences in, in the medications? Uh, do they all work reasonably well? Well, all of them seem to work. We uh, used urokinase till it was taken off the American market. It took about three days usually to resolve the clots. Uh, we tried TPA briefly. Uh, we used too high a dose because it was cardiac based and those people tended to bleed, so we stopped using that. Uh, Retoplace, which is another variant of TPA, uh, we used a low dose. It seemed to work in about two days if it was going to work. And now with Tenecteplace, which has a higher fibrin specificity and more plasma stability, our average full success is in about 24 hours. Now in this study, which had, as I said, a relatively small number of patients, you, what was your success rate? Well, we had a complete response in the, uh, the initial group. We had a complete response in 50%, and then about another third uh, had a partial response, which meant uh, they had significant improvement and a more distal amputation than originally expected. So about 20 or 25% failed to respond, and we're not quite sure why they completely failed to respond to the treatment. But in, in the... In this winter that's just passed, this very, very bitter winter in the north. It was indeed. Um, you, you have another series which you reported very briefly. You obviously haven't analyzed yeah. them. No, you, we... That we, did better. Yeah, we had uh, six more patients uh, that were also even more severely frozen because of the severity of the winter. And five of those six had a complete response and only one failed to respond. Mm -hmm. So that would be about 85% complete response rate, which... Uh, you're putting the dozen together is about two-thirds or about 70 percent uh, complete responses now with this drug. Mm -hmm. So clinically, if, if I'm a physician somewhere and, pe and a patient comes in with, with severe frostbite, uh, should I be thinking of this or should I, should I go with the standard treatment? Well, the standard treatment for severe frostbite is a pretty dismal outcome. The uh, patients are rewarmed, they're given ibuprofen for, and some anti-inflammatories, they're given pain management and debridement and they virtually all lead to amputation. Uh, although there's sometimes a little bit of improvement from the original presentation until the ultimate demarcation, they almost always have an amputation. Uh, if you can save 70% of these people completely and have them not even lose a toe or a finger, uh, that's a significant benefit. And the way we try to do it is as soon as we can, after they've been thawed, uh, reassess their blood flow and then do an angiogram and then start the treatment. Well, thank you very much for your time. Uh, You're welcome. My pleasure. I'm Michael Smith, MedPage Today.